been a leader in the uh, communication system Correct. Uh, for a while now. Yeah, we've been in business 30 years. Okay. And you've got some new stuff that you're bringing out into the market for, uh, I understand you're working for uh, the uh, government, but you're also bringing some of that technology over into the uh, general aviation market. That's correct. We've been a defense contractor for the last 30 years, and uh, the military came to us and wanted a, a wireless uh, communication system. The problem was is that when they had cords for the aircraft carriers, a lot of times the cords would grab onto nose tips and missile tips, and so we developed the first secure wireless uh, helmet for uh, flight decks. It's the uh, Navy Cranial. Um, it is secure wireless, uh, and uh, it uh, has about a 50-hour battery life on it, and uh, it was developed because, again, there was there's no cords involved. Still, uh, it fits into their standard cranial, no cables at all. There is a spot on here for recharging, so the recharging, the battery's all internal. And then uh, depending on your uh, device you're hooking up to, we make adapters for different radios, and uh, that's what that's for now, so uh, they can have complete freedom. This is the military unit here, and now you've got one of the uh, units for the uh, civil aviation? Well, we hope to very soon in the next two to three months come out with the first wireless uh, headset for pilots. Uh, sort of driven around like crop dusters who want to have a helmet on and still get out and walk around their plane. Now, if they hop out of the plane when they're refueling or re-chemicaling, um, they have to unplug and they can't have communication. So we'll have the ability to have a device that'll plug into either a helicopter uh, UN-74 port or a, a private pilot's so PGO-55, PGO-68. They'll have a little device that'll have a battery in it and it's rechargeable and the headset will be we're hoping to have about a 90-foot range for either uh, private pilots or helicopter pilots type of thing so they can move around the aircraft. And especially with helicopter pilots, uh, it'd be great in the, in the back for medevacs. So instead of having to be tethered into the plane, they'll have full range around the aircraft. Yeah, a lot of pilots are trying to get out of their airplanes and they're still attached uh, to their intercom. Hey, yeah, sometimes they said it jerks, the, they forget it's plugged in and jerks their headset off. And so now they'll be able to have that range uh, uh, the only downside, of course, it will be battery powered, sort of like the ANR, uh, but you'll be able to recharge that. And we hope to that, you know, you probably recharge it after your flight. You'll go back to your house or your hangar and plug your devices in and, and off you go. Your cell phone or anything like that. That's correct, yeah. Now, the quality of the unit, when you talk about uh, military application versus civil application, is the quality of the unit basically going to be the same? Basically going to be the same. Similar technology, except the military required it to be secure because when they talked on ships or other places, their radio transmission already secure. So because there's that area of wireless transmission, that had to be secure. In the civilian world, we won't have to worry about, you know, people worrying about, gee, Mom, I'm coming home soon and uh, I'll get the groceries, you know. In, unless they require. The only problem then if it needs to be secure at this point, it only has a five foot range from the helmet to the port. Uh, in the civilian world, we hope to be about 90 feet. Uh, what about noise canceling in that type of thing? Well, it'll be available in both active noise and passive. A standard being passive and active noise being electronic noise canceling. We hope to be able to integrate this, it'll be uh, not just the circuitry for the active noise, but have another card in there and another battery, and maybe even be able to tie the batteries of the active noise and the uh, wireless card all together so you won't have to have too many batteries in there. And, and intercom, uh, why is it going to work with the intercom? Intercom, it'll actually uh, send and receive off of this little adapter that'll plug straight into the intercom. So instead of going, instead of your headset plugging into that port, there'll be a little box that'll have those plugs on it, it'll just sit on top, and it'll transmit and receive just like you would normal, and probably it'll have a wireless push-to-talk switch, that way when you want to transmit on the radio, you'll be able to have to, you'll have to reach up to your helmet and push to talk as opposed to being on your yoke. Now, on some extent, you do a lot of repairs to a lot of the major uh, helmets and aircraft systems that are up there in general. That's correct. We do service and repair all competitors' headsets and helmets, anything that's out of warranty, uh, send it to us. It's a no-charge estimate. Uh, we'll let you know what the parts and, and labor is going to be. Uh, while we're always at Oshkosh every year, we offer, if you buy the parts from us at the show, fly in with your broken headsets, we fix them right here at the show. We don't charge any labor, we just charge you for the parts. At home, if you saw us at Oshkosh, then, well, then we'll still honor that. 
but uh, normally it's a labor on top of that. We also do helmet refurbishments. If you have a old military surplus helmets, like, like we did with this one here, we actually, this is a surplus helmet that we bought and we repainted and put all new comm gear in it. You can get that for $7.50 any color with either clear or dark visor or you can have active noise for a thousand. Well, the best way is probably on our website at www.acousticom.com. That's A C O U S T I C O M.com. Or you can call us at 800 664 0534. And that's our 800 number. Or if you want to email, you can e email us at acousticomsales at aol.com. And I'm Doug Cochran. And if you have any questions, I'm normally always there. If not, there's always somebody else who can help you as well. Where are you located? We're located in Elkhart, Indiana. Uh, we've been in Elkhart for the last 30 years. Uh, our father started the business. Thank you very much for your time. All right, thanks for your time, sir.